in uh, area of conflict in Mindanao, the citizens of the area of conflict in Mindanao are very thankful that the development partners are providing assistance where government does not. Still, if you talk to the civil society organizations all over Mindanao, they are really beginning to question the effectiveness of the implementation of aid. And it will, there will come a time when um, a conference will most likely be put together that will now make an assessment of how effective aid has been in the Philippines. Now, luckily for us, groups like the Asia Foundation have actually been doing studies like this, but in other countries. If you're interested in a, a study on the effectiveness of uh, development assistance, Go to the website of Asia Foundation in Bangladesh, Sri Lanka. And they have got a really good study that looks at all aspects um, of development systems and its impact on the lives of people. So this is um, what we have so far. We'd like to inform you that we are going to be starting a research project with the UP School of Economics that will be looking more closely at the implementation of development assistance in Mindanao. And once you have done that, then we hope to be able to share it with you uh, next year at a similar engagement if uh, you have not yet grown tired about the issue of poverty, conflict, development in most of Mindanao. Okay, maraming salamat sa inyo lahat. Thank you so much, Ma'am Amina Rasul. Thank you so much for the wonderful work you've done. Thank you very much. All right, so right now, before we go and acknowledge the presence, please give a warm welcome to Professor Eros Atalia. Thank you so much. Wow, Nicola. Society, with Ms. Nina Hilario as their VP Internal. Hello, good afternoon. Thank you so much for coming. And also, I'd like to thank the President. Christian Concepcion, thank you so much for coming over. All right, so we're going now to the our the AV Student Council. Thank you so much also for coming over. All right, so we're going now to give the reactions. May we call on to introduce the people who would react to our uh, seminar this afternoon. May we call on Ms. Joanna May Tanyada. Thank you. 
given at the 418 founding anniversary of the Geek TV Metro Manila. 2001 Ambassador for Peace Award, 2004 Crown of Peace Award. At present, he is a member, he is the president of the following Muslim organizations which have gained very high respect and recognition of both the Philippine government and various interfaith groups in the country for their exemplary community services. Philippine Islam Council, Mindanao Research Institute, and Center for Moderate Muslim. He is also a co-convener of almost all interfaith movements in the Philippines, earning for him the cordiality and admiration of practically all national interfaith leaders. He has traveled to several countries as speaker of conferences on Islam, interfaith dialogue, Mindanao issues, and peace and hope. As sportsman, book author, and writer, he is the publisher of the Universal Message, the only Muslim community newspaper distributed nationwide. He also anchors radio programs and a cable TV program in Mindanao. Um, ladies and gentlemen, after occupying senior positions in the government and the private sector for more than three decades, he was appointed in 2002 by President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo in his present position as UNESCO Commissioner. Let us all welcome our second reactor, Commissioner Taha Blackman. Brothers and 